And it begins. Ryan's Mobile One. I'm curious to know why this failed, aren't you? It looks like the way this is assembled is from the back side here. So what I'm going to do is use an angle grinder and just cut around the back side of it and then pop this off and dismantle it the way that it was put together. This is a chipped blade. This makes the blade out of balance. It can also throw stuff at your face. Don't use a chipped blade. Learn from my bad example. Don't do what I do. And it begins. normal freaking saw with teeth. Let's set our blade depth. Another disclaimer, don't do what I do. Don't retain the guard. You're always supposed to have that be closed and cover the blade at all times in case it kick back so it doesn't get you. Don't do this. Do as I say, not as I do, right? The more you smile, I am not left handed. Scotty, I need more power. My skill saw don't want none unless you got charge, son. You gotta mag tap it. Makes you feel like you're doing something fun. Yay. Power! when you realize this might all be glued together we better pull test it and make sure it's coming out and it is I want to keep it somewhat uncontaminated by plastic as this is moving it's binding on the blade it's good enough oh my gosh so what fell on the floor is a little Hey, we got springs. That's fantastic. You never know when you're going to need springs. I'm going to do some more cutty choppy. It's kind of a rough start. Let's see what happens if it's out of your way. That was smoother and less violent. I don't know. What do you want? Control or safety after the fact? I don't know. There's a debate to be had there. What's inside the charcoal canister? Charcoal. It's got some kind of a filter breather paper kind of a thing that's falling apart. I'd say that that's pretty wore out. It smells like gasoline. Like raw old gasoline. It doesn't smell good. Okay, so that's the canister full of charcoal. It's a lot of charcoal. I wonder if this stuff burns very good. I'm thinking probably it does. Isn't that a nice neat little pile I've made? Oh, I've done it. So my guess is whatever this material is that retains it but breathes has failed in the front as well. And that's what's in the front. You've got a barrier between the two. You've got a spring that holds this tight so it can breathe and pass vapors around the side of it. Uh, but one side is clean. I don't know. It seemed like the whole thing had stuff in it. This is where it was falling out of, though. You can see it's just got a hole straight through. And you can also see that there's this, and it was plugging the hole, but is no longer plugging the hole. Thinking that probably what we could have done is replaced just this. Dump this out, cut this out, uh, put it all back together, put the springs in it, and then plastic weld this back shut and we'd be good as new and save 160 or 110 dollars I could be wrong I've been wrong a couple of times but that's uh, that's my take on things that's what I think's the score yeah all of these are just failed this is this is what uh, we're spending all that money about interesting so if this gets into the system and gets sucked in through the rest of stuff, it can plug things off and create all kinds of havoc. That's bad. 
Let's get another EVAP can and see what it does. This video is brought to you by Far Burnt Almond. F no, it's not. <laughs> so, this is going to be full of plastic and garbage. We're going to see if we can eliminate some of it and salvage this. Do a burn test on it later. Oh, tune the edge. Okay, EVAP can number two. Uh, it's got all kinds of comings and goings. Some of them will have a vent that just vents down. Uh, other ones will pipe it out to somewhere else in the car and deal with it there. This has a pressure sensor. That's what I believe this is. You see the same kind of sensor configuration on the top of a fuel sending unit on a Chevy or something. You got these uh, vent valves, check valves, and a purge control solenoid, I believe. What's that, pun? You're good. Go for it. I don't want to hit this metal bracket with the saw. Pull it out. <laughs> All right, so these are going to be a problem. I can see that already. So I'm going to have to cut at least down here below that. Ah, this is a Toyota. The Toyota and the Kia canisters are so radically not different. Let's begin. This is a terrible, horrible idea, and I don't condone doing this to your saw. Bad. All right, so this one actually has something that goes all the way to the end, it seems, because it doesn't want to come off. You should see my face right now. I'm stressing. What if I put it between my legs and twist? Put an interesting twist on it, wouldn't it? You're not going to believe this, but a couple of springs that look exactly like the old ones went flying across the floor. Oftentimes with water heaters, refrigerators, anything, things are all made at the same place. These are actually smaller diameter. They fit inside the other ones. Anyway, we'll just like stick them all together and put them over there. This is a better built canister. Immediately. Dude, look how close I came to hitting this with the blade. I had no idea that there was metal in there. I was judging it by the other one. That's the of assumption and the power of taking risks look how much better built that is it's still got broke it's still broken down the foam has still failed quite a bit but are we full on both sides we are full on both sides can we pour this directly into a bucket you bet we can we have the technology now this canister is nowhere near as smelly but it still looks like it's made out of the same rod that's broken up Trees are made of hydrocarbon, hydrogen and carbon. The carbon dioxide from the air is what makes the trunk of the tree. So if you burn this stuff off and make it charcoal, it's been burned basically. This is leftover stuff. Look at that. You can see it's got a little bit of indentation. I don't know if that's depletion or just a dent from being smushed. There's more. It's like double layered. Let's see if we can bang it. We're gonna get a little stabby stabby here. And surely temple it is straight through. Look at that. It looks like rocket surgery on this side with all the plumbing and all the uh, vacuum lines and plugs and sensors. But when you get right down to it, it's just a clear shot. It's just divided from one side to the other. A big one here and a big one there. So this is an exhaust vent valve, I believe. Man, is that screw rusted? Look at that thing. Let's see if we can uh, make something happen with it. So I've been hanging on to this canister to cut it open for almost a year now. Really happy to share this moment with you. Free up some space. Ain't it like you mean it. Why doesn't that want to come out? It's just got a dry o-ring. You know what works great on dry o-rings? Spray silicone. It's making its ancestors proud, isn't it? I'll throw this in my try this at some point box. Let's get stabby on this one. It's just a little uh, filter barrier. What do you know? It's the same science on both sides. Just this one from Toyota is built about 10 times better than the one that came out of the Hyundai. Fantastic. I mean, this had like metal reinforced, better foam. I mean, you still get stabby stabby on it. That is depleted. That is not just dented. It's definitely thinner where there's been hydrocarbon fuel flow. And it's, it's pretty crumbly. You know, it's done. Hence the uh, reason why it's on my floor. That's sneaky. Did you see what they did there? So this is open to the outside air. And they have it against this so it looks like it goes somewhere. Well played. That's why they don't test them 
by visually inspecting them and they put them in a chamber check for all the off gassing and hydrocarbons and everything just put the whole car in a box pretty freaking good idea because people are going to cheat look at the volkswagen gate scandal well look at that that's it that's all there is to it did you know that 95 percent of the video watch time i get is from non-subscribers my subscribers are awesome but there's only so much they can do being 5%. Take a moment and subscribe, would you? What that does is that's not going to harass you. It's not going to cost you anything. All it's going to do is say, I liked a video at some point well enough to click subscribe. If you want to get notifications, it'll give you a bell option. Uh, just putting videos in your feed, you get to customize it how you want it. But what it does for me, if you subscribe, is it gives me a pat on the back numerically that gives my channel credibility in the YouTube space. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bonus footage at the end. I want that ridge. guys sweet how's it going you got your bonus fixed. I did